Meantime, the FDA on Tuesday approving the first at-home HIV test made by AuraSure Technologies. The Aura Quick in-home test will be sold online and in retail stores across the country this October, allowing Americans to learn in the privacy of their home whether or not they are infected. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview is AuraSure's president and CEO Douglas Michaels joins us here at Post 9. Doug, good to have you. Congratulations on this. Stocks at a 52-week high today, but uh, more about the product, the, the numbers of Americans that this could potentially benefit is pretty amazing. Oh, Carl and Melissa, thanks for having, having me on the show today. Absolutely. Uh, this is a very exciting uh, approval for Orisher Technologies. It's, it's great not only for the company, but also for public health. Uh, there's approximately 1.2 million individuals infected with HIV here in the United States. It's estimated that up to 20% of them don't know their status. And this product represents another way for people to learn their HIV status in the privacy and comfort of their own home. The, the fact that the test would be out there would lower the likelihood that they would pass it along, along someone who is positive, lowers that chance by 96%? A absolutely. So great public health benefit if people know their HIV status. That's whether they get tested in a clinic or whether they take the test at home. We estimate that for every million people that buy this product at retail and test themselves, we'll um, eliminate uh, or we'll identify at least 5,000 new HIV infections and we'll eliminate more than 700 additional transmissions of HIV. How much does this cost for the consumer and how accurate is it? Well, it's highly accurate. This is the same test that's been used by physicians for the last 10 years. Uh, we've sold over 25 million devices in public health, in hospitals, in doctor's offices. So consumers can use this with a high degree of confidence. Like any diagnostic, it's not perfect. And so a, per so a positive test will need to be confirmed by a healthcare professional. All that's well explained in the labeling and has been verified um, through our clinical studies. Now, Melissa, you asked about cost. Yes. So um, we've indicated before it's going gonna, it's gonna to sell at retail for somewhat less than $60. We sell the professional version of the product. That's this device here. And it's the exact same product that will be in, in the over-the-counter kit. We sell this into the professional market in and around $17.50. So it's going to be more than that, but less than $60 at retail. You want to demo how it works? Sure. It's a simple oral swab, and that's the beauty of it. You simply swab the upper and lower gum. After you've collected the sample, uh, you insert the device into, into this uh, little developer vial. Actually, this is the kit itself. Um, and so the product would be accessed through this drawer. It's the same uh, stick and, and the tube that, that's sold into the professional market. Once the, once the package is open, the consumer simply puts the little vial here, swabs their gum, and then inserts the device into, into the uh, package. And 20 minutes later, they have a test, test result. How do you go about marketing this? I mean, is it sensitive? I mean, does it affect where you would place an ad, uh, and who's the target market? Well, so the product's going to be made available at retail, in retail pharmacies and in mass retailers, so Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart. We're going to have broad distribution uh, at launch. We're going to be communicating directly with consumers, so we're going to be using all sorts of media, whether it's digital, uh, social media. We're going to be doing some traditional advertising, and the retailers are going to promote this very heavily, too, so they'll be promoting it through their direction circulars that go out every week, you know, in their... Um, in weekly newspapers and things like that, and they'll also be promoting it in store. In terms of applications for other tests for other diseases, Hep C yeah. is also coming. That's well, that's in the pipeline. Absolutely. So we, we have a rapid test for hepatitis C on exactly the same platform. It's a 20-minute test. Um, we have not yet made a decision to make it available over the counter. We've done some market research that says there could be some consumer interest, but we haven't done the quantitative work to determine whether it's a real market opportunity. We'll be doing that now. Now that we've uh, identified a path to obtain FDA approval for a self-test for infectious disease. And you say you sold 25 million to doctors and hospitals. Projections on how many of these you could sell? Um, we, we haven't put forward any uh, sales projections just yet. Obviously, it depends on, on the response that we see from consumers once the product's available. We anticipate having the product available at retail on retail shelves in early October. So as we develop experience with this, as we get our messaging out there and, and, uh, and see how consumers respond, we'll, we'll be in a better position to give some uh, sales projections. Interesting stuff. Doug, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having Doug me. Michaels Very exciting time. Thank you.